What's up you guys, boy Perverse Senpai here and before we start reacting to Komi Can't Communicate Episode 3 I got some things to talk about before we start Firstly, if you guys have noticed of my profile picture of this channel of mine it did change into a more unique uh, persona kind of perspective. You know, just trying to change into a you know, more unique type of person out there. Instead of the, you know, the regular picture that everybody uses on all social media. So I made my own, you know, put my own type of unique type of art photo team. And my second thing I want to talk about was my perverse senpai uh, TikTok channel. Yeah, if you guys haven't noticed yet, it did get banned, but I made a new one and some of you guys are already following it. If you guys haven't, you should uh, follow it real quick. Make sure you hit that notification so whenever I do make more videos on my TikTok, you guys would see them. And if you guys haven't already, I do have an Instagram account and you know, if you guys want to check that out, you can. The links for all those uh, accounts will be down in the description if you guys want to click on any of those but that's all i got to announce to you guys besides that let's hop on to the episode all right i still can't remember the main character's name but hey look we got a new character that's been introduced in this episode oh she's a nervous social anxiety person almost like me oh shit so komi has her eyes on this student i see of course anyone will be nervous and scared by someone just staring right into their soul you know what i mean <laughs> so in everybody's perspective she's just uh beautiful but she's just too nervous komi dude this girl is just describing the type of girl i like oh no is she gonna shit herself nah I mean, not gonna lie, being in the toilet by yourself may be the only time of your privacy in life. <laughs> Why is Komi? Why is Komi in front of the door? Wait, don't tell me this girl's the class rep. Is she the class rep? Because that would be really bad. Dude, I feel you, bro. Whenever I have to do something that's responsibility, I just like, ah, uh, fuck me, bro. I bet she's gonna fumble the words automatically. Yep. Just like I said, she fucked up. <laughs> uh, she just said, pa. And that's it. Oh no, dude. She's freaking out. And Komi just being like a goddamn ghost. Holy shit. Oh, damn. Okay, she said it straight on. I guess if there's a point of like getting too much anxiety, you just like push it through and just want it. You just want to get it over with, you know? <laughs> damn, she's so happy that she actually said it. Ah, okay. 20 minutes ago before this whole situation has happened. Damn, okay, Najimi is pulling out the full list that Komi could be friends with. Yo, Ajari, she got some big tits. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> call me. <laughs> wait, wait, by Komi just being there, Ajari was able to change. Not a lot, but just a bit. Wow, Komi. She has the power to do nothing, but at the same time, everything. <laughs> Komi is like shocked, like, damn, I did that? I, I'm a boss. <laughs> Whoa, god damn, she was able to go backwards up the stairs? Yo, that's a talent. I think that's her secret talent right there. Whoa, whoa! Oh, she just said she could become Komi's dog? Oh yeah, alright, Komi just made another friend. The fuck? Oh no. <laughs> She's back to doing notes. She she can't use a cell phone for shit, my guy. I feel like writing in Japanese takes a while to learn, you know? I don't know, it's just like Japanese words to me. I just find it really cool because like, I mean, yeah, English words, if, like writing it, I mean, to me, it's easy because I guess that's how I learned it. I learned it when I was a kid, but like Japanese words, like it looks, looks like art, you know, it's just very, you know, structured type of writing. I like so to you guys out there that are able to write in Japanese. I'm jealous of you guys very 
Aw, Komi's thanking him. Yo, I'm I'm actually happy that there's music in the background because if there's no music, it'll be dead ass silent in these series. <laughs> oh yes, as the father seen her daughter grow up. What the fuck is he trying to do? What's that game called that like you can't like say nothing, but you gotta like uh demonstrate it and the other person has to guess what you're trying to like represent because whatever that game is called, I'm pretty sure call me would be like the best of the best for that, honestly. Oh charades. That's that's the word for that game. Charades, I think. What the fuck? Oh, okay, dude. I think we have another sussy person in this. <laughs> uh, call me new the vibes. Call me new the vibes. Wait. Oh, damn. So call me wanted to get uh Tadano's number. <laughs> they couldn't get. Uh, man, they couldn't make eye contact. Uh, call me. She's happy. She's happy inside. Oh no! Oh no! The oh the class president! Oh, this is gonna be bad for Comey. I, I'm pretty sure she's gonna get elected as soon as they start voting. Of course, Comey would be fucking class president. Ah, fuck! Of course, the teacher will take it the wrong way or interpret it the wrong way. Oh, Najimi is going up against Komi. Oh, whoa. Oh, damn. She pulled a bunch of delinquents in the room. Yo, is she able to defend herself? Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. Yo, Najimi was able to pull something off with her speech. But then again, that kind of fucks over Komi in a way. So, in a way, Najimi did help, but also made it worse for Komi. See, yo. God position! Yo, they went above and beyond in this classroom. Oh, Tadano became class president. Oh, that's funny. Yo, yo, wait, wait, wait. So, is Komi gonna call Tanado? <laughs> Why is she just like flipping her phone, dude? I guess she's not that used to using her phone. Hey, but you know what? Some of the ringtones would be slapping. That's for sure. You know what's gonna happen? I'm pretty sure she's gonna accidentally call uh, Tanado. Yep, there we go. She actually called someone. <laughs> she cut the call. <laughs> she's panicking. Oh no, she's getting a phone call back. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Komi's trying to sound like a bot, but she's fucking it up so bad. But hey, she actually talked. You gotta give her that. But over the phone, of course. Not in person. Whoa, damn. Alright, I like this hand clap type of thing. Music type of vibe that they're doing. <laughs> Komi's jealous, of course. Yeah, I don't think Komi will be able to be up for the task of uh, doing the hand clamping and singing. Oh, yeah, they do have Argari and Najimi. Oh, fuck, Najimi, why do you have to invite Komi, bro? Dude, all these guys are praying. <laughs> Yo, Najimi is more like the rough type of person to just throw someone in the game. Well, Tanado just trying to gently helps out the person by, you know, guiding them. Why are they smiling? They're not smiling. That's a fake ass smile, bro. <laughs> Dude, this is this is what they're thinking inside their head. <laughs> Everyone let her win. Everyone okay. Oh no, Najimi just put in the punishment game. Alright, now everyone's against Komi. <laughs> now nah, everyone's fired up just to win, just to see Komi make that kiss face. Yo, everybody's loving it up, man. Everyone got their own mana. Nah, Tanado, Tanado is gonna throw in the bag. There, Komi! Don't let them, don't let them win. You gotta win, Komi. Uh, so he's making him, uh, he's making him look like he's a dumb guy at this situation. At the end of the day, Tanado loses everything. His dignity, his loyalty, and his, um, uh, morality. Alright, time to review this episode. So in this episode, they were able to introduce a new character, and you know what? It's another girl. Yes, it, it, it's a girl. We, we made sure this time. 
I believe her name was Agari. Agari. It's funny because I can't, still can't get the hang of the main character's name. And Agari, uh, she's the type of social anxiety type of girl. Like, if someone's staring at her, she's just gonna be, you know, freaking the fuck out, not knowing what to do. But she's still able to talk to people in a basis where she's still able to like say what she has to say depending on how much anxiety or how you know nervous she is because if she's like so nervous she'll just spit out what she wants to say uh but i think the funniest part that i found throughout this whole episode was the phone part where komi like demonstrates tadano's that she got a phone but at the same time she like really doesn't know how to use a phone and even if she had a cell phone she still uses paper and pencil to write out what she wants to say to everybody else but it was so funny the way that Komi reacted by cutting the call off and then she started panicking afterwards and then finding out that she was getting a phone call from Tanando later but as always I enjoyed today's episode it was interesting and away but also like it's from i don't know why but i feel like it's a lot faster the pacing in a way but that's just me that's how i see it but either way if you guys did enjoy my reaction for this episode hit the like button it does help me more push out this episode or this video that i make for other people to watch in case of like they're interested in seeing other people's reaction for this episode but if you've seen a couple of my videos and if you're more interested in seeing more in the future why not hit the subscribe button and stay tuned on seeing what happens next in this channel of mine because i'll tell you something by the end of this year you're gonna regret not subscribing that's for sure but i do hope that you guys do enjoy your guys' day it has been your boy perverted senpai and i'll see you guys on the next episode nice nice nice